All right, in this video, we are talking about how to find the range of a data set. So if you take a look at number one, we have five numbers in our data set. And before I do anything else, I'm going to order my numbers from least to greatest. So my smallest number is nine, followed by 10. Then we have 17, 43, and finally we'll finish it off with 57. And to find the range of your data set, you simply take the largest number minus your smallest number. So for number one, our largest number is 57 minus our smallest number, which is nine, and you get a final answer of 48. So your range for number one is 48. Now, the reason I have you order your numbers from least to greatest is because I have a lot of students that don't order from least to greatest. And as you're looking through the jumble mess of numbers, you accidentally don't pick the largest number in your list. You might take the second largest or the second smallest because you're kind of sifting through the numbers super quickly. Get into the habit of just simply taking your time. Order your numbers from least to greatest and make sure you know what the smallest number is and the largest number is because you can easily make a mistake on range even though it's a very, very basic concept. So for number two, let's order our numbers from least to greatest. So we have eight, 15, 16, 38, 39, and finally 89. So I know for sure where my largest value is. I know for sure what my smallest value is. And now let's subtract them. We have 89, that's my largest, minus my smallest number, which is eight. And if we subtract largest minus smallest, we are going to get a range of 81 for number two. And now let's move on to number three. Let's order them from least to greatest. We have 11 followed by 18. We have two 23s. We have a 55, 65, and 102. I'm gonna look for my largest number, which is 102, because I have ordered it for us already, minus our smallest number, which is 11. And 102 minus 11 is going to give us 91 for our range. Now, before you go, I want you to attempt a couple problems on your own. So if I scroll down here, there are three problems that I want you to try. So I encourage you to pause the video here, see if you can find the range for numbers one, two, and three. And when you think you have all of the ranges, come back and play the video and see if you went three for three. So at this point, I'm assuming you have tried these three problems. So let's go over it, right? Number one, again, same thing over and over again. Let's order our numbers from least to greatest. So smallest number looks like it's gonna be 14. After 14, we have 32. Then we got a 35, 55, 78, 83, and 91. So let's take our largest number, which is 91, minus our smallest number of 14. And when we subtract our largest number minus our smallest number, we are going to get a range of 77 for our first one. For number two, let's order from least to greatest. We have 12. We have 14, 18, 44, two 65s, 76, and finally 80. And again, let's take our largest number, which is 80, minus our smallest number, and 80 minus 12 is going to give us our range of 68. And finally, our very last one, order them once again, 2, 10, 33, 45, 56, and finally 78. So let's take our largest number minus our smallest number, which is 2, and we're going to get a range of 76. So hopefully you went three for three in the independent practice. Again, I encourage you to take your time, even if it's finding the simplest thing like range. I don't want you to make a mistake on a quiz on one of the easiest concepts, range especially. Take your time, order your numbers from least to greatest, and guarantee that you pick the largest number 
and the smallest number. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video.